All right, so we've got Brandon playing Ken versus CJ version one. And I've got the names mixed, so there we go. How's it going? Hello there, Black Havoc. Silken Snuggies. Silken Snuggies. Snuggies are sick. I do have a Snuggie. I do too. I got a Sonic the Hedgehog Snuggie. No, I asked if you had one. I'm glad. Oh, yeah, I I'm do. glad to know that you I do. I use it all the time. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Brandon in Mochi Green and CJ in Breast Cancer Awareness Pink. I'm trying to show us how to play this game. Looks like CJ is letting, uh, letting Ken just run up in his face a little too much. That's not safe. Scary, but it's not safe. That's not safe. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make a guess and say that was not a good idea. Well, or, it cost him the round, so probably not a good idea. Yeah, that was an accident. I'm pretty sure. So CJ took that first first round not convincingly. Brandon just made a couple bad choices. I think it was an input error on that last one. There's no, there's no way in hell he tried to EX DP from halfway across the screen. Well, he'd done a couple of them that were successful. Really? Yeah. There we go. Pushing CJ to the corner. And Boxer gets mauled on wake-up, uh, so if you keep your meaties, you got him. Good block on the uh, gear reversal. Maintain the pressure. Oh, power arc out. Brandon really likes that knee feint, uh, but in the last couple of matches, it has not served him well. Oh. Hot feet. All right. That was a good stop on Balrog's ES EX uh, dash points, because now he doesn't have super, so that's nice. And he's already popped. No, he didn't pop super. Look at the wrong one. Uh, oh. Raw DP. Oh, wow. So you're going to need to bring the mic up closer, and you're going to need to speak up, because it's real right. loud in here. I was getting scared to get, uh, I put a starburst in, and I was like, oh shit, that wasn't a good idea. So I was trying to not smack all <laughs> trying over Trying to get mic. that starburst I'm on good now. Well, we don't have a stream right now. I'm... All right, let's see uh, Brandon can keep up the pressure. We know Balrog is going to pressure, so good punish. What's uh, what's Ken's uh, light kick? Is it three frame? No, he doesn't have a free, uh, he doesn't have a three frame. He doesn't? He does not. Oh, okay. All right, let's see if Brandon can keep him in the corner right here. Well, that EX Fireball is going to come any second now. If he can block him. Real close to stun. Oh. oh wake up super. I was waiting for Bucci to yell uh, something that I am not going to yell. <laughs> Ooh. So CJ's trying to steal this round, and oh, he, he does it. it. <laughs> CJ version one is a thief. I mean, a really good round from Brandon. A couple, couple little mistakes cost him that game. But uh, do you know the startup? Since we can't check anything because we don't have internet access, do you know the startup on Boxer Super? Uh, I can check. Because if it's not four frames, I'll a, check. A meaty jab might have taken that game. I'll check right now. Level three tap and Brandon blocks. Okay, target combo interruption. Uh, misses the confirm. The Gigaton blow. What's the name of the super? Oh. CJ doesn't have to worry about stun, but he does have to worry about getting killed, and he's oh. real close. It's uh, eight frames of startup. Oh, yeah, so... Uh, Completely invincible on frames one through ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. Oh, good job, Brandon. <laughs> I was looking at that uh, Balrog frame data. All right, you're going in second. I'm going. I'm going solo. So Brandon looking to make the second game his. Oh, ho. how's it going, Dougie? It's going. They don't. <laughs> so we're recording because the Ethernet is is ass. The internet. Somebody has a device that's doing bad things. We got EMP. No confirms on the target combo. We got counter hits. No counter hit confirms. We got footsie. Ball rock. Press counters. Oh, he woke up with the button. We need our no rise meaties. Oop, oop, oop. Footsie's full screen low. 
So Brandon is staying a little too far away in neutral. And that gives CJ enough time to, okay, you should be dead, and you are. I was going to say don't burn the meter, but then I realized that he yeah, had, he's already the final round. round. That'll take the game. No reason not to spend it. You know, Brandon shows a lot of promise. I actually think Brandon is a solid player. It's just he's like, it's like he's missing. Some, I don't think uh, he plays very much right now. Yeah, he's missing some components, consistent anti airy uh, I mean, his punishes are pretty good. He knows what to punish. Uh, I would like him to work on his spacing a little bit. Because he kind of like swings for the fences. But other than that, he's like not bad at all. So in this matchup between Boxer and Ken, who do you think wins? Uh, I think it's even. Even? Uh, the reason why I think it's even is because I think uh, Ken has some tools that he can use to like standing like kick. The the issue that I have personally with Barog is that space uh, light dash punches are relatively impossible to punish. So uh, Ken, having a really good standing light kick now, has a very good uh, tool to put consistently punish it, at least if it's spaced improperly. And a DP and good mix-ups and good offense. And uh, only only drawback is that he can't really throw fireballs. But outside of that, you do have to consider him when jumping in because he has air options as well, like air tatsu. And jump fierce, like we just saw. Um, but I think it's closer to even. Uh, Barog obviously out damages Ken and has a little bit more control on the ground, uh, on the horizontal end of things. But I don't know. Oh, oh that's going to be a crush. And CJ is going to make this hurt. Oh, he drops the combo, though. Now he's in the corner. This is where Ken uh, does a lot of work. Uh, Michigan corners himself. Plus one. Yeah, the Michigan cross-up into the corner, we're famous for it, and we shouldn't be, because it's an awful idea. I like Brandon getting a little bit more aggressive. Uh, and he goes for that feint, and it's never real, and he gets punished for it every time. That is, If there is one thing that Brandon would change about his game, stop doing the feint on your opponent's wake-up. Because I've not seen it work. Yeah, I know uh, when I see footwork play, he, get, he gets you pretty scared for it. Oh, he gets the punch on the overhead. But he gets you pretty scared so he can open up the feint to low or the feint to throw. So he's just kind of doing it. He, I don't think he's uh, uh, utilizing the entirety of the mix-up. But it's going down to the wire. CJ can very much take this round, and he does. So we are at last game, last round. Uh, Brandon with the meter advantage. Oh, 99 a, second EX upper. Uh, oh, nice anti -air. Is the new Michigan special 99 second do something? We have, no, there are several Michigan 99 seconds. There's the dash up low forward. That is the most common. And so the, we play the 99 mix-up game. You call what the one of the opponents is going to do at the 99 second mark. I would never call the EX upper in 99 <laughs> seconds. Never in my life. Oh, oh. I think he, I think that was a drop input, but there was no punish. So we got some corner pressure. What? Oh, he could have got on a punish right there. No whip punish on the overhead. Oh, he gets hit by just the EX punch in the mouth. Punch. Puts his toes. In the boxer's gun. Ooh, okay. Guard. Oh, no Brandon punish. needs to make his setup more real. So uh, there we go. That's a me. They can't wake up with buttons. Ooh, and no that's it. For you. So Brandon squeaks that one out. Can win. Moving on, and winners putting CJ into losers. Mm -hmm.